Welcome back to a special Top 20 interview on the set of Top 100 Sexy Beats. I'm here with hitmaker and Fuse host Flo Rida, and we're discussing music and all things sexy. And music is very eclectic these days, and yours is kind of an infectious combo of pop and hip hop. And I was wondering what made you decide to go in that direction instead of maybe just doing hip hop or pop music? I mean, for the most part, I think, you know, music is set out for you to have fun with it. I'm a big fan of Outkast who always, you know, go against the grain and, you know, early on I always wanted to, you know, just set myself aside from everybody and just stand out. So I always tried different beats, different patterns and flows and things like that. So I think that's what, you know, sets me aside. What were some of your hugest inspirations growing up? Oh, man. Uh, I was inspired by watching two live crew videos. <laughs> Guilty pleasure. But um, at the same time, big fan of LL Cool J, Run DMC, even early on, uh, Fat Boys, you know. Who would be your dream collaboration? Uh, as of now, I'm a big fan of uh, Andre 3000. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what kind, would you, what kind of sound would that be? Like what, what's like in your mind, what would that? Definitely some guitars, things like that. Sexy stuff. Yeah. And since we're on the side of sexy, let's talk about some sexy topics. What would you say is the sexiest thing about you? <laughs> I don't really like to talk about myself, but... Uh, well, you're on the spot, so you kind of um, have to. I don't know. I think the ladies like my lips. Wow. <laughs> sexiest thing about women? Um, that bottom. And the sexiest song to get down to? Uh, I would say my new song, Wild Ones. There you go, guys. There you have it. Thank you, Florida, for joining us.